Welcome back to Dead End Gaming. I'm Dead End Dragon, and today... I apologize, it looks like my character's been on vacation, but I have not. I have been very sick, and then I had to go to get a surgery while I was sick, and then I think that made me more sick. Uh, yeah, so I am so sorry about that, and there was little communication. I don't have a community button yet. Uh, you can check out more on Twitter. I'm on there if you ever want to see more details on why I'm not posting videos or what else is up. There's lots of things on there. Also, thank you to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for sticking with me through all that. And now, um, it, well, it, it means a lot to me. It really does. Thank you, everybody, for sticking through it with me. We're back. Um, I thought the best way to come back would be to be have an exploration video. And I've got the Paranor uh, cottons on here. Uh, since we were just at Paranor, but today we are going to go, oh, oops, if I can get my UI to work with me, we are going to jump down and check out Sand Deep for the exploration list. Um, I've never really done a lot of Sand Deep, so I am going to be completely lost. <laughs> um, this might take a while, but it'll be fun. So let's dive right in. Um, darn, usually it's like get on top of the big thing. That's not it. Oh. Oh! Hi! Okay! Ventla's Manor! That's pretty easy. Uh, I just jumped down from where I was in Halcyona, and on this song spinner field, there is this house right here. Just wa walk inside. Usually my tactic is go on and get on top of it, but apparently I just walk in the door. I climbed on the building. Do I get something for that? <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, okay, there is Taurus's mansion roof. I think we're going to have a lot of stuff in here. So over here in the... I can't even see that there's too much stuff going on there. Golden Fable Harbor. So on the Golden Fable Harbor, uh, you just basically walk into town and come to this mansion and get on top of it. Now we're getting to stuff that's normal. <laughs> now this feels familiar. Yeah. See you at the next location. Let's not die. I got my cat every... Uh, I did not click the right one in time. It was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was that one, and I missed it. But we didn't die. That's good. Yay. Oh, interesting. I'm going to look at that in a second. So in the Golden Fable Harbor, there is this big lighthouse that um, is by the airship ports. Uh, you can either get on top of the airship ports and go out or... Uh, like in the Cinderstorm more, climb up the ladder, glide out a little bit, and come back once you can ascend up to it. From like everybody. I was just there! I came in, I went all over here, almost fell in, and then went and looked all over the place, and then decided it wasn't here, so I fell in, and it wasn't there, so I came all the way back up just to find out that instead of going on there, I had to just walk to where I just was. Ah! I'm sorry. Anyways, here is the Nymph Queen's area for the tree. Uh, just follow this all the way out. You'll see this nice big tree here with the Nymph Queen in it sitting over here. And then just walk around a bunch to see and make sure. Maybe jump if you need to or don't because you might fall like that. Um. <laughs> anyways, enough of my steam going crazy there. I will see you at the next spot. <laughs> ah! Royal Hunting Grounds Guard. Yeah. Okay, so here's the Hunting Grounds. What was in the Hunting Grounds? Hunting Grounds Guard Post. Wait a minute. Isn't that this? If you just have to, like, walk in... Oh my gosh! It's, like, way easier than the Paranor Ruins one. Cool. Okay. So down here, you get into Grenwolf. You head north a little bit following this little road. You'll see this little guard post that says Royal Hunting Guards. Runti Royal Hunting Grounds Guard. Oh my gosh, it feels like a tongue twister. And then just jump in. Jump in. It's that easy. Oh my gosh. Oh. Neat. And there's a little explorer's bag. Cool. So I'll pick that up. Cool. So that was the garden. That was the garden platform. There we go. Um, so back to uh, this mansion over here that we had in the Golden Fable Harbor. Yeah. Apparently in front of that mansion, 
is this little platform. You just go and swim under it, I guess. And then there's this little little notebook that I found, at least. If there's one there for you, awesome. If there's not, uh, you can wait for it to respawn or something, I guess. I don't know. Um, but cool, we found it. Um, off to the next location. Is this it? Oh, wow, this kind of looks like... Oh, my gosh, there's music stuck here. Okay, hold off, hold off. I'll, I can play in a second. I can play on the cool boat in a second. This is it. This is it. We found a romantic spot. Oh, they changed it. That's different from what I got over here. Um, apparently, it's a romantic spot, not a lonely place. Um, so over here on Mermaid's Tears, you get on this fancy-looking boat with the cool musical instruments in that. And then you just come out here. Hold your arms out and spread them wide as you ride on the, the non-moving ship. But still, it, it, it's reminiscent of something. Not sure what. They start with a T no target selected. and end with... Uh, yeah, I came in. Yeah, no. No, <laughs> we're not going there. Uh, see you at the next spot. I think this is it. Is this it? Circle to people, we're just gonna break into your house. And sleep on the little teeny bed. Oh no, wow, it looks like a lot. <laughs> Doesn't look like you can lay down on it at first, but I guess you can. Um, so that was uh, Vintir's Cottage. Uh, I didn't really see if that was the right name or not. Now I'm unsure after that last one. Uh, but for Vintir's Cottage, you go in here in Sand Deep and just in between these two, uh, there's this other little icon, as you can kind of see. It's like that little tent one. Yeah, that one. Um, just come in with all these people, break into this guy's house. I don't know if it is or not or what. And then go lay down on the bed. Or jump on it. I mean, you could jump on the bed. Like, we, could, we could do that. We, I'm jumping on the bed and you can't stop me. Okay, enough fun. Next location. There we go. So we got the poacher's plank. Off with the plank with ye. Um, so yeah. So while I'm being attacked, uh, let me just do this real quick. Do that. Okay, cool. So over here in Grenwald, there is this place with a bunch of like hunters and poachers and stuff and an airship that is not moving. You just go and you get on top of it. And, and I mean, that's, that's about it. And then just walk over here and don't fall. Unless you're a fear and then use your ability and jump off. Because <laughs> it's fun to do that. Oh, there's Suzanne. Um, right. There we go. We explored the home of Suzanne Trist. Tr Trist? Tr Trieste? Tristan? I don't know. Um, anyways, it is just south of Bluegrass. Or, well, I guess it's in Bluegrass, but, you know. Um, just a little south of there, there is this big house, this big sea house area with the big fish on it. I was wondering if that was going to be something earlier, and I never said anything, but um, I was wondering if that was something. Just go inside the house and go walk in front of her fireplace or by her bed, whatever you want to call it, and there you are. Oh. Okay, well, I thought this was somewhere I'd have to get on top of, but um, it just looks like a giant hole. It's a cave. Uh, well, wish us luck. Oh, ow. Okay, so explored sp sky meat cave. Ouch. Uh, you might need to be <laughs> have some levels on you for that one if you're gonna fall through it. Um, so how I got here was through Halcyona, um, and I went up the mountains and came down. <laughs> into sand deep, but by the looks of it, uh, you can come in through the outside here. So let me just walk out to kind of give you a general idea on the map. Just right over here on the map where that little nook is, right in between those guys. Yeah, you're gonna wanna go and walk in there and then uh, I guess go to the center area or something. Um, I fell down it, which seemed to work fine. So <laughs> if you wanna do that, go for it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was hard. 
Oh, goodness. Okay, so back in Golden Fable Harbor, you can see where the airships come and go on this side. There's the two. Uh, this one's on the... This one's on this side of the port. I don't know. It depends on which way we're facing. But we're over here. You can kind of see where we're under the L and the E. You need to be outside the castle wall in this little corner. Um, I will glide out a little bit real quick if you need some help with that like I did. Oh, my gosh. That was, that was something. Whew. Okay. So where this big manor was, where we walked inside it, just behind it on this little ledge, I would suggest either gliding out and turning yourself around or coming down from after coming up from the airship area just glide on down from that and just kind of hold off until you can land kind of safely um it's a little tricky but it's in that little nook there um good job to all of you who make it there that was that was a little bit nerve-wracking and, and hard one to find yeah oh my Gosh. Okay. Um. So back at the airship, where where you, it's the plank and all that, the poacher's plank. Uh, you come out onto the needle here, <laughs> on top. So you have to get on top of the unmoving airship. Get over here using your glider, and then please be careful. Please be very careful, because it looks like I'm just standing on nothing right now. Like, oh my gosh. Jeez. Uh, and just so you know, just for reference sake, here it is over here again in Grenwolf by that airship area. Um, yeah, gosh, uh, careful walking out there. Be very careful. Maybe use your left mouse click so you can keep just walking in the same direction, even though you're looking in a different one. Okay. Next location. <laughs> My gosh, ah, this has just been the most frustrating one. I don't know if it's because my character base is taller because it is the fear in or what. Oh my gosh, that was so hard. Um, okay, so this whole time, this whole time, I knew this was going to be one of the statues. I'm like, Noria, I think that's over here, right? That's, that's what this is. It looks like the challenge. Anyways, um, it's this statue in the Golden Fable Harbor. Uh, you might know it if you've had to go through the main quest line in that. Uh, let me just <laughs> back up a little bit so you can see a bit more of it. It is also by the Sand Deep Community Center. It's like right there. The hard part, the hard part is getting yourself to get on top of the head and for it to recognize you. Because doing that right, what I just did, did not recognize it. You need to be on top of his head and almost like standing on it like I did. Um, if you have wings, I was able to just walk back in this way and kind of glitch my way up like that and just keep going until I made it up. Uh, just like by flying up. Uh, if you have a plane glider, your chance might be better. Uh, you can probably glide off of here, jump and glide at the right height across. Or you can do a little backflip or, or front flip off of here and then glide at the right point. Um, there's a couple buildings and other things if that's easier for you to glide in with that. Um, maybe it was also the wings I was using. I use wings because it helps in different situations, but this was a little hard. Uh, but yeah, we did it. Oh man, we did it guys. All right, well. That has been the Sand Deep Exploration. If uh, you, let me get the, into my, my standard thing here. If you liked the video or it helped out or you made it to the end or whatever, let me know uh, by liking the video. And uh, comment, as, as I always like to say, comment with your favorite location on this whole journey. Um, 
I I really liked going. I love the I loved the lighthouse. Lighthouse was really cool. Um, I love seeing the lighthouse and turning them on and everything. But uh, my favorite was the airship and going on top of the airship. And that was really cool. And I really like the beach area. Uh, Sand Deep always had the best beach area, in my opinion. I think it's really cool here and everything. Um, it was really fun to go through and explore. So that's all I've got for you guys. Uh, next time, I don't know where we'll go. Um, I was thinking of going back to Hiranya and doing something here because uh, we've been going back and forth. But uh, I've been trying to get Marcala for a while. I might try to retackle that and finish the last couple I've just been struggling with trying to find. Or maybe maybe we can do Diamond Shores. Maybe. May who knows? Maybe we'll go to find some of these new locations, get some help, get you all together, and we can find these Hiram locations. Yeah? I know it's kind of scary being in a PvP area for, for people who... Don't always want PvP, but that doesn't mean that we, we can't go across there and check it out. And there are PvPers who want to do this stuff, too. So, like, let's work together. Pull our sources and start getting some of this Aurora area going, huh? Well, I will see you all next time. <laughs>